Mm. Is that synchronized? Are we shroudy sunk? Shroudy sync up. Are we shroudy sunk? I can't tell. We might be a little. Are we late? Are we sunk? It looks like they're. Oh, they're way behind. Oh, okay, they're way behind. They don't know. So we have to pretend that we are sunk. Uh, Lindsay, what did yeah. uh, what did you plan on saying at the very beginning? Shroudy sink up. Shroudy's sunk up. And Adam, what did you plan to say? I'm so happy to be here with George Clanton and Negative Gemini for Virtual Utopia 3! Yes. Can we get a little bit of more um, music going? Yes. Let me think. Who do we have we today? We've got... Um, Who's on the lineup, bro? We've got Matt Watson on the lineup. Ooh. Uh, thank you, Matt Watson, for shouting us out uh, t- on your Twitter and and uh, getting getting all those big views. Thank you so we've much. We've got... Let's see. We've got Adam Kane. Oh! Adam Kane making his virtual reality Bitch, debut. Adam oh, my gosh. It feels so good. Uh, let's see. Who else do we have? We have um, Matt Watson. We have Matt Watson. Um, um, George Clanton and a quip. George Clanton and a quip. Hmm, let's see who else. Death's Dynamic Shroud. Death's yeah. Dynamic Death's Shroud. Shroud. And then DJ set by Party Pupils. Oh, yeah. Then there's Party Pupils with the DJ set, a future funk. DJ set, and you know, I was watching this set. I've been listening to this set. Oh, what fun it has been. It really reminds me of those good old, those good old SPF 420 days uh, when everybody was just having a good time and laughing and and playing sped up disco music and partying, and we're all going to party together today. We're all going to party together today. This funny, uh, somebody called me, uh, I wonder, well, you know what? I, I said, well, you know what? They're, they're calling me a funny white man, but they're probably talking about Matt Watson being the funny white man. Yeah, definitely. It couldn't be you. But I don't know if Matt Watson identifies as a man. I think that he's a boy. Yeah, he identifies as a young, beautiful child. Matt Watson is a boy child. And we have Adam Kane. Hey! Yes, Dynamic Shroud. Little Matt Watson. Then there's a quick booth. George Clanton. George Clanton. So there's a lot of things going on. And then the Party Pupils DJ set. So if you guys are just now tuning in, you don't know what Virtual Utopia is, we're going to get right into it. But I wanted to let you know what you're going to expect to see. We are live streaming uh, in VR right now, and I can prove it. Crazy Bingo says, Funny Monkey. Samaritan says, My First VU Concert. Uh, Pris Deal says, uh, Go White Boy. Shadow Magic says, haha, funny gringo. See, that's proof. He's reading the chat uh, right 16-bit now. gamer says, yo, Adam with the AFX pants. That's true, Adam. You got the uh, AFX pants. Oh, I on. have the AFX pizzies on because this is a very special event. Got to be dressed to the nines. So we are very, very, very excited. And um, uh, let's see. I, I don't know. You know, put a lot of work into doing this virtual uh, reality live stream and this is all if you don't know who we are uh, this is we are uh, representing the record label 100% electronica a vaporwave record label out of Los Angeles Dang! we are broadcasting live out of our record warehouse right now which is a over uh, glorified uh, garage Adam is live glitching some video equipment over to the side, and it's showing up behind us right now. Lindsay, Negative Gemini is chilling some champers cavassier over here because we were up last night and all night before, and pretty much the entire week rendering this shit. And I only finished the last render about five minutes ago. That's why we started about five minutes late. Down to the wire. You Down. guys really have no idea the stress levels this week, but it all paid off. This is going to be crazy. And we're going to get the music started, and we're going to talk a little bit more about the stress levels. But uh, so virtual reality, uh, virtual utopia is a new concept that basically takes like we are DIY kind of underground bedroom musicians. And um, we're kind of taking that idea and, you know, not... Um, as an insult to anyone who wants to apply to be a part of Virtual Utopia or anyone who has applied to Virtual Utopia, but we've opened up this platform for people of any kind of 
backgrounds, any type of skill level to apply and submit some of your kind of 3D rendering work. And this is stuff that I've taught myself and pretty much anybody can do and we're trying to teach you how to do it. And people who are doing this, um, you know, creative minds who are doing it who don't want to or maybe don't have the opportunity to uh, make the next Avengers movie or something and want to like make videos of aliens humping each other for Virtual Utopia. Yes. This is a platform where you can make aliens humping each other to music and you know that's basically what it's all about so we're going to get right into that um in the previous virtual utopias all of the artwork was done by people on the 100 percent electronica label this is the first one that we have done with um you know reaching out or having other people actually apply and then we're giving them a modest 300 dollar artist grant to do this and our first um person was uh Aurograph who Adam Kane selected my new bestie Adam Kane selected Aurograph out of a list of uh, maybe 50 people who have applied to be on Virtual Utopia to make uh, videos for his new live performance and we have Aurograph uh, here with us today and hopefully let's let's pull him up Aurograph are you there yeah, can y'all hear me? Okay, yes, we yeah, can man. hear you. Hello. We can hear you. How's it going, my dude? How's... Oh, it's going great. I'm super excited to see uh, Virtual Utopia 3 happen in real time. It's crazy. It's awesome. So, why don't you, uh, and everybody, you can turn your head around. I don't know, even if you're not wearing a, a headset, just use your mouse to turn around and you can see what our graph looks like. You got the cool 100% Electronica shirt on and a nice little hat. Keeping we have the top same of your head shirt warm. on. How crazy is that? You have great taste. <laughs> Vapor Brothers. We didn't plan that either. Yeah. We're just synced up. That's freakish. That's a shroudy sync up. For real, for real. Definitely on the same wavelength. So, and, and I think that you are, and you can tell by the uh, the artwork that you two came up with together that you are definitely an excellent team. You make an incredible team, and I think that you should be making, you should work together as um, father and son and man and wife to, to be making videos for, uh, you know, Jay-Z and Beyonce and stuff. It's just incredible. So, why don't you just, uh, you know, you could, uh, how did you find out about virtual utopia and why did you want to do this or uh you you could skip that question and just talk about what it was like making it or how irritating it was figuring out how to render all of this shit what do you think about it yeah well um the first time well i saw virtual utopia one um and i was really impressed by all the 3d rendering and i had kind of been doing some stuff with blender just like very briefly but when i saw how you all were creating these 3d you know live stream events I, that kind of like really inspired me to try to like learn a little bit more about blender um and just the 3d world in general because that w i think that was right around when the pandemic hit more or less like maybe in march or april um and so i, I was out of work and just trying to look for you know something new to to do and started kind of learning 3d animation stuff and I actually feel like I learned a lot of um, tips and tricks on YouTube and I learned really fast by just kind of you know trial and error and messing around um, on my own free time and this was the biggest uh, project I've worked on to date but I, I feel like it was a huge learning experience um, and it was really fun yeah, I mean, that's so you're saying that you really got started kind of on this uh, after the first virtual utopia and you've already gotten to this level that blows me away. Yeah. I think that I want people to keep that in mind when they're watching uh, this video. And um, we were you and me and a render farm and equip equip and james from death dynamic james from death dynamic shroud are all we're all rendering this project on five different machines to get this done in time uh that was i've never done anything like that before it took days many many hours lots of teamwork 
I'm really proud of the way that Equip and James and we've all uh, come together to be able to do this. And uh, I think that this, your story and uh, you know how this is, I want to start with this one because it's just the perfect example of how, like what I want Virtual Utopia to be. Like anybody, you know, not, you're extremely talented, but there are a lot of really extremely talented people out there. I taught myself how to do this. You know, you taught yourself on YouTube. People can do this. Uh, it's not prohibitively like, you know, it's not as impossible as it, it looks striking and amazing, but people can actually do this. It's, it's awesome. And I want more people to do this DIY shit and submit it to us and we'll play it next month or something. Woo! So uh, do you like yeah, it? Go ahead. No, sorry. I was just going to say, I think it looks really hard, but once you kind of start um, learning how to do it, it kind of, it just becomes more fun. And it's kind of just like um, maybe limitless and what you can create with 3D animation stuff. I, I don't know. It's pretty fun. And should I, I should ask you, uh, what do you think of the new Adam Kane song? Do you like it or you hate it? I have to, before he answers, I have to say one funny ass thing about this. So we started working on this video and I'm like, he, I realized like two weeks in that he hadn't heard the song that it was for. And he just assumed it was for like a song that had already come out. And I was just like, wait, so you're just making this video and you don't even have music in your head? <laughs> and it like ended up working out. But the funny thing about it is like, if it were for the song that he thought it was, I'm like, this vibe makes no sense. But he randomly made a vibe that worked perfectly for the song that I chose. That so, so it was funny. awkward because he'd already been working on it for like two weeks. And I was like, oh, I guess I'll send you the song. So I was like, fuck, I hope he likes it. He kind of just agreed to do it and didn't even know. But it worked out awesome. I'm super happy about it. It was really fun to make. I didn't have to do too much. I have to give a lot of credit to Orograph. He fucking seriously was like so awesome to work with and like really put this together very well. I'm, I can't believe it's my video. And I just, Emily's in the chat saying, is that a bag of Doritos next to the pink hat? No, no. it's shrimp crackers. It's Adam, better. Cowgirl Clue left her shrimp crackers here that she won yesterday on the big stream. It's all good. It happens. So everybody, right now, I want to hear Lindsay screaming. Uh, everybody, right now, let's get ready. This is Adam Kane with Show and Tell featuring visuals by Autograph. Get fucking excited. Y'all don't even know yeah. what you are about Woo. to see. It's insane. It's insane.
Be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Hello? Hey, 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 we've got, well, well, well. I ruined our big reveal. But you're, 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 uh, hide your face. You wanted to hide your face, right? Yep. I'm not live, am I? You are live. <laughs> oh, that's good. Wait, no, they can't see you. They can't see you, yes. yes. Oh, oh, okay. Thank God. You got it on just in time. Wow. That is amazing, because our camera broke. It was Holy like shit. cursed. Yes, so we're like 30 seconds ahead of the video, so we're in a whole different time zone. Oh, I didn't realize it's still going. Uh, yeah, let's see, let's see. Perfect. Well, you are data girl. Let's pretend that you're not here for a second. We'll just pretend okay. that that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing Adam happened. Payne, what in the Adam. world? Whoa. Whoa. On your world premiere. Thank you. It feels really good. That was sick. Poggers! Poggers. Shout out to 100 percent Electronica for being the best label ever. I think that we we there's some new Adam Kane fans out there. Uh, shout out to Nick Adams on the beat for that and all the does a lot of production work for me. He's the greatest. That's Dumpling Boys. Dumpling right? Boys in the chat. He's on timeout in the chat, Dumplings. but he's never in timeout in my Dumplings heart. He's the fucking go goat. Off. Nick Adams and also a huge shout out to Orograph. Uh, making that video was so fun, and I hope one day we can do more. Yes, that's yeah. my favorite Adam King track. Me too. Yeah, Mine that's too. Trying to, constantly trying to top that one. So hopefully I can do that nine more times, and then maybe I'll put out an album or something. Now, I said, you said something about the hose, and I was like, Adam, don't you think that this is offensive? Don't you think that this is mean? To uh, uh, sex workers, and then you said no. Sex? What did no, you say to me? Uh, I don't mean like hoes, like promiscuous people. I don't care what anyone does sexually, but I'm talking more of like hoes to the game and being a hoe to yourself, and just you know, like people who fake the bag and just you know talk all this shit, but really aren't about it. I see a lot of that, so I felt the need to call that out sonically, and that it's was kind of what I did there. It's that you classic story about people faking the bag, and then Adam not being able to tolerate that sort of behavior. It's really hard for me to tolerate. I'm trying, though. I'm trying to get better every day and be a chiller guy, but sometimes it's hard. I like that you got straw in your hair. Yeah! Now, uh, coming up next, we have everybody, Death's Dynamic Shroud. Yeah! Yeah! With some uh, new and some old favorites. And Death's Dynamic Shroud, again, keeping on with this beautiful tradition, uh, you didn't see this earlier, but keeping on this beautiful tradition of uh, the way Virtual Utopia works, we have Data Girl who created um, this uh, amazing Virtual Utopia, and we have her online here to talk today. Hello! Wow! Hi. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Hello, Data I'm Girl. I'm so excited to be here. Happy to have welcome. you. Welcome. We are so uh, we are so excited. We're so happy about this. You know, you were the first to finish the job because of your incredible work ethic and wow. not being a, go. an idiot like me. <laughs> um, so thank you so much. And you're sitting in one of your own uh, virtual utopias of your own creation here, aren't yes. you? Yes. Wow. Yeah, so this is actually one of the first projects I ever worked on. So I started doing, um, you know, 3D render art in Cinema 4D like a year ago and it just like I started it as a side hobby because I'm uh, going to school for music composition right now so um, you know I needed something to like do when I was sick of doing music so that's how that all started same, 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 same. <laughs> we're the same right uh, uh, yes yes and uh, what uh, you are a you're a you're a, a pretty decent Death Dynamic Shroud fan right Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Shroudy 100%. <laughs> Proper Shroudy. Proper Shroudy. So uh, how did how did this come to be? It was um, 
what did we? Uh, you'll have to refresh my memory. Uh, I think <laughs> that maybe you you submitted to the virtual utopia thing that yep. we put up, and we're like, do this, and then I guess uh, James and Tech really liked your style the best, and chose awesome. yes, and chose you. Uh, if memory serves me correct, and I told him, I said, James and Tech, we you're on the show every week, so we're just not even going to talk to you this time, and we're just. <laughs> We'll just talk to Data Girl. So, how long have you been doing this? Um, this like like three D stuff. Yeah, or, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's been like a year. Um, usually I work in Cinema Four D, uh, like Tropical Virtual, and um, for this project in particular, since I knew it was going to be a long video, like my computer barely handles, you know, like a still render as it is. So like a single frame that's like even kind of complicated will take like, you know, six hours. Yeah. So, yeah. so I was like, I'm never going to have time to render a whole video with all, cause I work and do school and everything else on my computer. So I like, I needed it for other stuff. Yeah. So yeah. that's how I figured out, um, that I could just use unreal engine. Cause I actually worked in unreal engine making, a uh, visual album for my most recent release, Destination Spa. Yes. Uh, yes and that yes. was a lot of fun. Um, and so I thought, why, th you know, there's got to be a way to create a virtual utopia and do the 360 render and do all of that within Unreal. Um, and quick shout out to Nano Shrine because, like, he's sort of been my Unreal Engine mentor. He's like, he works in Unreal for a lot of his own music projects. And he's also, like, actually shipped a game before using Unreal Engine. So. He's he was a great resource for doing that. Um, Nano Shrine stuff is very cool. He is very impressive, yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, so so working in Unreal Engine, it's been like more of I haven't been working in it for that long. Um, I had a bit of experience using like Unity because I do like I, my degree specifically is for game music composition. So like learning how to create like interactive music systems for games. Like I've worked in. Um, like a, a oh my god you know like a game engine before so unreal like wasn't too unapproachable for me um but there's also like there's so many resources online for artists to learn how to do that nowadays like you were saying earlier um about how you and orograph are both self-taught like that also applies to to 3d game engines and like i definitely encourage people to um look for tutorials on that there's courses you can take um yeah Anyway. Yeah, I noticed that Unity was making because I I picked up Unity to learn how to. I thought that that was the e it seemed like the easiest at the time, and that's what I went for, and which is a game engine. And um, they were giving away their courses during the lockdown to everybody for free. I don't know if they're still doing that or not, but it's like there are so many resources online. And I guess that the lesson is, if you want to learn how to do this, you probably can. You know, with, totally. You don't have to like. I mean, you can go to school, but you don't have to go to school. It's certainly cheaper to teach yourself on uh, YouTube. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, do you want to um, lead us in? Do you do do you do like screaming or anything? Do you want to like <laughs> do you want to scream at the top of your lungs for death sign or uh, travel? Quick? Yeah, tell them to get tell them to get hyped. I want to. Can I say one quick thing? So actually, you have an after we, party. Yes, yes, we do. So, um, when, or just a party that happens to be after. Exactly, right. but but still, I want to link it back because I mean, virtual memory was really inspired by uh, by Electronicon and like by bringing together vapor people, especially in California. Like, um, you know, so we that was our way of like starting something vapor related that was kind of recurring in Southern California. And today we are celebrating our one year anniversary. So we started doing shows IRL last year after Electronicon 2 and um, you know when the pandemic happened we took everything online and we're still going strong uh, so definitely go to twitch.com slash all hell breaks loops to check that out right after virtual utopia ends um, yeah, yeah and pump that in the chat so everybody knows Woo! yeah absolutely I think my, my Pacific Plaza friends are, are in the chat yeah um, and shout um, out to Pacific Plaza for sure we have to assume that a lot of people who are watching right now don't know necessarily who all you know we live in this bu this vapor bubble where we know everything that we're talking about but uh, <laughs> experts in the field yeah so uh, electronic con is a uh, music festival that we theoretically do every year but we didn't get to do this year due to coronavirus but we'll be back next year where we have a lot of these artists and a lot and a lot of uh, other cool artists uh 
come together to have a big vaporwave festival. And I think it's so cool uh, that you're doing that in uh, Orange County, or were before, uh, before coronavirus, and now online. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So we're all partying online nowadays. Anyway, back to the way that vaporwave, uh, back to its roots. And yep. um, that's great. We'll be there. We'll see you there. And uh, everybody get ready for 10 minutes of Death's Dynamic Shroud. Woo! Ten minutes Fresh so content. Thanks, everybody. Yes. Bye, data girl. Shroudy sync up. Shroudy sync up. Shroudy sync up.
It's Poggers. Poggers. Powder, chuck a lolly, chit wow. cherry on top. Shimmy, yummy, 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 yummy. So cool. Damn. I want to drink and swim in that liquid. If you weren't a shroudy, I bet you are now. What type of liquid would you swim in? Um, like a jello before it's jello. I can't tell if we're, you know, I'm struggling with these, uh, <laughs> these delays. I can't tell if we're delayed or not. Uh, let let's clap one second. And we'll clap and go one one thousand two and okay. Mm, I don't know about that. I think that we're a little bit delayed. Sorry guys, but maybe we can live with it. Uh, I don't know. What do you want to do? Do you want to? I'll try living like this. See me keep doing it like this, or um, 
Yes. Well, anyway, very good. This is what happens when you're doing something live. We'll find out in a few seconds if we were unsynced or not. We need those shroudies to sync us up. So, um, Lindsay, uh, yes. what are you drinking? I'm drinking some Red Bull. Interesting. Very cool. I'm actually drinking one, too. I love it. Mwah. So good. It gives me winks. So, uh... <laughs> That was for everybody in the chat um, saying, is this Matt Watson? No, that was Death Dynamic Shroud. Uh, Death Dynamic Shroud of Death Dynamic Shroud fame. Uh, definitely check them out. They're DDS. DDS. Death Dynamic Shroud. As the fans call it, DDS. They're very, uh, very cool. Very cool music. And um, one thing is that Red Bull Radio is helping us uh, put on this event. And... They have given um, a couple of the artists on 100% Electronica the opportunity to put together a choice mix for a Red Bull radio. Gang! And uh, Death Dynamic Shroud, immediately following this uh, live stream, they are going to have a full length, I think it's 40, 45 minute choice mix on Mixcloud, on, on Red Bull Radio's Mixcloud. And I'm so awesome. sure that someone will be posting a link to that the link will be in the description shortly uh so check that out on this video this video will be archived and you can whatever i'm talking about now will eventually post in the description so you can reference it and check it out so yeah exclusive uh, i wonder if there are any other new unreal did y'all like that new unreleased death dynamic shroud i was feeling that it was amazing I was in my bag on this couch um, so we are going to maybe dig pan for gold in that DDS choice mix on Red Bull Radio, looking for some new unreleased shit to maybe see what DDS is working on and what's coming new from them. And as a matter of fact, I did a new song with uh, Equip, Equipu. Equipu, you say? And um, immediately following this stream, Equip is also going to have a choice mix, including exclusive songs with the George Clanton collab song that we did. My name's George Clanton. I worked with Equip. And we have Equip right here. He's minimized being hey. all quiet and shit so that we could... Oh, there's a cat. Show Andy us the Ryan. cat. Let's maximize our boy <laughs> real quick. Kitty cat. What's up, y'all? Hi. Yes, when you touch it, it unblurs. Oh my god! Yeah. Some, pe some people have exposed brick walls. Equip has a Gaussian blur wall. You wouldn't even <laughs> you wouldn't even know how much it would cost. You couldn't afford it. It's too too insanely expensive. The wall didn't finish rendering in time. So. Oh, <laughs> triggered! I am really triggered by that. That just made my butthole squeeze up tight. Video rendering is no joke. I know, man. My room is still like quite warm from. Uh, from doing those 700 frames for you. Thank just, you so much. Lingers, yes. <laughs> this could cool. not have happened without you and James. Thank you guys so much, seriously. Well, what about me, bitch? Oh yeah, and George. <laughs> um, so, I take George for granted, for sure. Yeah. Every, we all every do. Day. Yeah, okay. Every Thank you. Thank I was about. I was wondering what was it was going to come from here. I just was going to go ahead and say it because I knew that if I didn't, you would. There we go. Um, let's see, Equipu is, Molo says Equipu, Equipu. is beautiful. Fact, gorgeous. And JPEG Stripe says clap, 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 clap. I agree with that, too. Um, let's wait until this song pops off to pop that thing. Oh, We're okay. going to pop that thing. We're celebrating because of all the rendering. And I don't want to bore everybody who wants to just see the music. With that computer But I feel like we have talk. a lot of things to talk about. And yeah. so let's speed through it. Me and you, for people who don't know who we are, I'm George Clanton. That's a quip. We're both on the 100% Electronica label, and we work together on a, on a new on some new material for the first time uh, after years of knowing each other for Virtual Utopia today. And let's see, it's a it's a it's a remix from a game that we used to play when we were little boys called Unreal Tournament from the year 1999, yeah. and we worked together to remix this song, and then. Um, Equip is so creative. He just started morphing the song into something completely different. And then I was like, you know what? We need to morph this into something different. So I tried to be creative too for once. And <laughs> um, we came together to kind of make this new song that is in part 
inspired from and it partially recreating music from the Unreal Tournament in 1999. My favorite level too, um, the uh, Facing Worlds level. Uh, I used to play this game like all the time uh, before I had to go to school. I would like wake up at 6 a.m. and uh, play it, you know, as much as I could before I had to leave. Uh, so yeah, Un Unreal Tournament's like really nostalgic game for me. And it kind of started the whole trend of like uh, arena FPSs, right? It was kind of the first. Yeah, that's where the word headshot comes from. Like there wasn't a word, there wasn't the word headshot until Unreal Tournament. And every single game uses the same clip. Headshot. That's from Unreal Tournament. Iconic. And I, um, uh, Ultra Kill and Monster Kill didn't really catch on as much. Um, but I... I can't hear the word rampage without hearing it in that announcer's <laughs> voice. Rampage. <laughs> right. And we're going to touch on that in our video, in our video render. And so this one, we don't have anybody talking about the video because I made this. I used the uh, Unity game engine and I pulled, I figured out a way to pull materials from the old game into the new engine and to put us inside of it. So we're, we're kind of battling. Yeah, uh, I won't sure. don't want to ruin it, but we're kind of facing each other in this song and taking turns with our styles. Um, I think it turned out so cool. I mean, we both kind of did our own prospective covers, and well, yeah, I don't I don't want to ruin too much of right. it. Right, so. but the music is inspired. This is really interesting and nerdy because the music itself is inspired by the level design. Like, yeah, pew, that's unusual. Uh, I think that that's really cool, this iconic level. Um, and this song, the original song is so cool, it's in all of Negative Gemini's DJ sets. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yes, yes, yes. So um, we love that song, and I always wanted to do my own version of it. Thank you, Kevin, for helping uh, me uh, make my dream a reality by doing all the heavy lifting and coming up with all the cool ideas. And... Uh, I mean, thank you for, for coming up with the initial concept and rendering the video and, and making all that happen. I did the easy part. I well, think that's you what did collaboration that. is all about. <laughs> What's easy for me, you know, my, you know, that I liked doing the video part. So, oh, and the music, and, you know, and putting the, the same breakbeat that I put on everything on the song. Hey. <laughs> and uh, playing the same... Uh, playing the same strings that I play on all the If it's all, not all broken, don't fix yeah, it. Don't Isn't that what they exactly. said? And yeah. so a special treat for all of our viewers right now, We, you're hard pressed to find a server for this video game that doesn't have just a bunch of crazy mods going on. So for one week, we have bought a dedicated server of Unreal Tournament and we are going to be playing it. People on 100% Electronica and 100% Electronica Tertiary Friends are all going to be playing. Equip's going to be there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be there. I'll We're, be in I'm there. I'll be there. I've never played before. You, so can, you can kick my ass. Kick <laughs> Lindsay's ass. So we're all going to be playing Unreal Tournament every night for seven days, and then we're going to shut the server down. So get it in while you can. I'm the admin. We're only playing my favorite levels. I'm going to post uh, as a comment, maybe as the first comment here, all the instructions on how to join our server. Uh, and it's open to the public for a week and then it's going to go away because I can't be playing video games all the time. I got to make music and I got to uh, pay rent. Video so, games are great, but they're bad for productivity. They're bad yep. for productivity. <laughs> so let's get this song. And then we've got, after this song, we've got Matt Watson. Oh, and, what? And we've got uh, Party Pupils DJ set to pull us all together and to give us a nice little pat on the butt Let's and fucking say, dance. get out there and have a good time or stay Hell inside yeah. and have a good time oh yeah so kevin do you want to do you want to scream or say anything hype or anything get in character and just say like bah! you know or do you ever do we can't we haven't been able to make anybody do that except for us do you have anything hype to say before i let's, click the button let's freaking go
going. You ready? Yes. Yeah. Woo! Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wow. Aliens exist. Congratulations, Equipu and George Clanton. George, yeah, Georgie Clanton and Equipu did so good. Uh, how did he breaking down in space? Well, there is a lot of gravity boots going on. Yeehaw! They want to say, they want to say how many gravity boots is coming on. So, Lindsay, I've been working, we've all been sh suffering to make virtual utopia happen. And so now Lindsay is popping a bottle of Cristal. Ice cold champers. Ice cold $25 Cristal like right now. I they wrote the price of it on the bottle with silver Sharpie. That is new. Make I that thought, make that shit pop. I thought that was what barcodes were for. Oh, damn. She pop. She popping bottles. Wow, we popping big bots out here. Uh, just drugs for me, thanks. I'll pass on that. But I'm very happy for you guys. This is sick. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Are we in sync? No. Oh, we're more out of sync than we ever have been. This Sorry, is guys. awful. Hold on a second. George is going to try and fix it. Work is magic. I see that a lot of people asking for Matt. Who are they talking about? Do we even have anyone named Matt who's going to be on this show? Yeah, we've got Matt. He's coming up next. Oh, cool. Um, and just as a reminder, everybody, that uh, song is leading into an entire set by Equip that is like 40 minutes long and it's going to be on Red Bull. Thank you. Cheers, everybody. It's going to be on Red Bull after this stream. I'm a little disappointed that I'm the uh, the thing is out of sync, but you know, you can still see what our outfits and that's all that matters. Yeah, you see these Apex Pizzies? That's all you need to know. You see that Champers? You see the Champers getting popped? It's optics, baby. It doesn't matter if it's synced. We're synced up Chamber right here. Oh, let's... Oh, I'll have a little Red Bull. Cheers to us, to us, to us. Wow, feels good. Cheers. And let's see. Uh, so check that out. And also for one week, that was a level from Unreal Tournament, a video game, actually the game of the year from 1999, before all of you Matt Watson fans were born. So <laughs> check it out. We're going to play it. Matt's going to play it. Um, I'm going to make him play it. I'm going to make Matt Watson do a Let's Play on it. And better not drop that flag, little boy. Yeah. If you're on my team, Matt. So if you are in, like, you can refresh the YouTube or just look at the comment section. I posted a how-to with the IP address to connect to the 100% Electronica server. We are going to be playing every night for one week, and then it's going away. You'll never have a chance to play Unreal Tournament with a full server uh, ever again because no one plays this game anymore. Yeah. So, uh, leading in, now we have Matt Watson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you think I saw him? Over there? Well, I thought he was going to walk in here or something. I'm waiting, just looking out this garage door, hoping he's just going to magically appear. So, we have Matt Watson's uh, new set coming up. We have unreleased music and, um, you know, new favorites. They're not old favorites because they're still brand new songs. And... Matt Watson's uh, design, Matt Watson's 3D environment was created by an artist named Tropical Virtual, and we have him here. Yeah! Today, let's what? pull it. Hey! Tropical Virtual, Hello. what do you do, baby? <laughs> virtual! What's up, man? What's so, look behind you if you're watching this on 360 and, and look at the computers. We got Tropical Virtual over there with the thumb ring and everything. That's how you know it's the real <laughs> Tropical Virtual. Falling! <laughs> <laughs> you notice that, baby. Thumb ring yeah. till that I get a wedding drown. ring. That's, That's that dripper drown. That's that dripper drown. <laughs> it's stylish. Had like, to. 20 years ago, it was stylish, and I kept it, I guess. <laughs> So uh, I think I think it's awesome. I feel naked without one. Yeah, you need to get a pinky ring, George. We'll get, we'll get you one. We'll get you a thumb ring. A pinky ring. Yeah, I like that. That's a good idea. Pinky ring till I get a wedding ring. Look at oh, this. Fuck. So my uh -oh. god. Oh my Come gosh, down. somebody Come on you edge really Lord. cool just showed up. They've been asking for oh you nonstop. Oh my god, dude. welcome. It's fucking oh insufferable. Do we, have a mic? do we have a mic for Matt? Just yell. Just yell. What's up, dog? 
Not much. Hey, man. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave I you I thought hanging. he was going to leave me hanging. Sorry. I, like, I hope he does. That would be so I cool. I don't do that. No, we that's why. Tropical that's Virtual cool. here. Oh, hey, Tropical Virtual. Woo! What's up, man? <laughs> not much. Not much. I am... I am from the sample I saw of of the graphics you did. I'm blown away. Dude, it looks so you, cool, man. right? We yeah, haven't. It's crazy. We're just gonna unveil this, I guess. <laughs> yeah, right. We haven't had an opportunity to even really take a proper look at it because we just finished it minutes before we started streaming. I got it uploaded to the computer like minutes before we started streaming. It. Uh, let's see. We were up all night. And yeah, you've been up for like two days doing this. And he so seriously has virtual. been up for like thank two Thank you. Days. Thank you so much for your for how much effort you had to put into that. Dude, George is right there with me, dude. I, I don't think I ever thought I would message George that much in like that <laughs> in a time. Like I think we sent like over a hundred messages like in just in one night. <laughs> yeah, I was I was checking up with him and, and looking at the emails and everything. It looked like hell. Yeah, I just wanted you to know how annoying it was, so that's why we kept you on thread. I love it when George blows up my phone at fucking 4 a.m. It's the best time to get texts. Yeah, I think at one point uh, Matt fell off the messages and he's like, we need to get Matt back into the to the circle of messages <laughs> to be just as annoyed. As I was, I, it's okay. I was, I was happy to be on that thread. Nice, nice. Because um, I didn't have to do to any of the work. You had to be Yeah. Ready. Your eyes are red, man. You look like you've been up forever. You high? How much weed do you smoke, bro? Are you high on weed? How much weed do you, be honest, how much weed do you smoke, bro? You oh, can't, you can't smoke weed and rent. Well, I don't know. Maybe Tropical Virtual disagrees, but I say you can't smoke weed and get these last minute renders done. It's just Fuck not no. possible. I don't think I've ever even seen you smoke. No comment. Smoke weed. <laughs> no comment. Yeah, right. So I, uh, you know, I, I partial or maybe a whole lot of put a lot of blame. We love blaming Matt Watson for things. Uh, <laughs> it's just part of what we do here. My parents do too. Yeah. So the divorce. we say, Matt, you. That was a tough divorce. You know, we get mad. They said you're. They're mad you're not wearing a cowboy hat. Oh, you want to yeah. put that one on instead, cowboy? You don't want to disappoint your fans, do you? No, I don't. No, we you didn't know that. Uh, it, because this is our first time, you know, working with like proper renderers like Blender and Cinema 4D, and I, because I only ever worked in Unity. Uh, and Death Dynamic Shroud and FM Skyline had done some stuff in Blender before, but it didn't take that long because they were turning down their like lighting settings and getting those fireflies or whatever you call it, uh, yeah. like these little artifacts to, mm -hmm. to make it go fast and still using multiple computers and like taking days. I just didn't really understand that until like really this week or maybe last week with Adam's project, I started to understand it. And then tonight, or last night at like when did we finally get the project we tried f four or five different render farms and we finally found one at 1 a.m. that worked or some it was like crazy middle of the night and it ended up costing twenty three hundred dollars to get it done in time gang minded <laughs> yeah yeah worth really? it just because yeah. that we didn't have a choice if it if we could have done it faster i didn't know that we yeah. could have done it for less but I do have you on thread to say that you were going to give me a thousand dollars. You were going to. Put I said I would split it halfway. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, so, give, you, I'll give you a, a eleven fifty. <laughs> oh wow. wow! So you heard it here. Money, like Adam Kane's video earlier. <laughs> what happened? That was we great, got, man. You got it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Next time we'll do it a little earlier. But I I didn't understand the ramifications, and also Matt was I guess the last edition, and. You know, um, so you got brought onto the project really late, and it's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, you know? Like, I. It didn't happen, though, man. You, you guys pulled through, though. <laughs> it's insane. It, it's worth it that it, it fucking happened. It literally came I'm down impressed. to 15 minutes. It yeah. was done 15 you minutes. You texted me like 20 minutes before, and we're like, okay, it's almost done. <laughs> if we didn't do. <laughs> If, if we did like the regular speed and didn't go for like the priority speed, it wouldn't have finished. Yeah. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have finished. Yeah. We like jumped it up to like that medium GPU speeds and we were like, oh, just go for the low. And then you're like, no, fuck it. We're going all the way. I liked how you were just like, no, we have no time to waste. <laughs> we need it now. <laughs> it was like, we I should have done right. the full oh, yeah, speed because it. it was like, <laughs> I was cussing and stressing out about all of this shit. Oh, you're saying swear yeah, words. I was Big sequences from like different renders uh, and uh, using like uh, I was real keen on trying to use that uh, uh, octane render the, the blockchain crypto like rendering stuff and 
it was working really well, like uploaded super easily, but it was just so slow, unfortunately. So we had to move out. And if we like, had a week, it could yeah, work. Yeah. <laughs> we did this in like a week. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. We we tore it up, man. We blazed right through it, and uh, it ended up working out. And I just like, you know, I'm like, you know, at six thirty, just like, all right, check your check your messages right now. <laughs> yeah, like I was, uh, and Lindsay was so sweet to not to understand and to not get mad at me waking her up every hour last there night. There was like an alarm that went off every, I should have just slept in a different room. But Well, like. I wanted to sleep in a different room, but I was like, no, I'm all, because I did this the night before as well, no sleep, and didn't get very much sleep the whole week before because of working on my own, working on the animation that we just saw. And so, uh, you know, I needed to get the good sleep and I was like, you know what, Lindsay, I like it when Lindsay suffers with me. So I wanted her to wake her up. As a wife should. Yes. Yeah, right. That's Absolutely. part of it. That's part of it. Through uh, good, better, and worse. Isn't that what they say? Yes. Hard yeah. times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was but, getting uh, what a sympathy anxiety for you. Me too. I, I thought my, my own anxiety naturally. I was but too. I, I felt like it was my fault. Sympathy anxiety. My stomach started hurting. Feel that, I'm trying to make you feel that way until I get that $1,100 check. <laughs> I actually will, will give it via checks. My, my checks are really cool because I found out you can customize them so I got a gorilla on it and a big thing that says it says Matt Watson big baller as my job title <laughs> oh, and then it sick. says uh it says one of the presets was just this big thing that said sports mom so I put that on there and then the background is bowling pins dude you should take one from the middle of the pack and take a picture of it and send it to me so I know what it looks like I will yeah, all, right, yeah. all right all right cool yeah because it's hard for me to like I'm kind of a visual learner like I just need a really high definition pic I'll of just it. give you one oh yeah yeah, yeah. will yeah, you yeah. sign it for me <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you promise sure. that, dude yeah <laughs> Yo, me and Matt Watson from Super Mega are boys, in case anybody's wondering. That's my boy. I'm his boy. If anybody asks me, like, do you know Matt Watson? I'll just do that L.A. shit where I go, yeah, we're best friends. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We DM all the time. Just, we I actually do DM now. I just to synchronize uh, cat naps with George again. That was, that was nice. Like, yeah. hey, I'm taking a nap. All you right, know what? All right, come over. <laughs> as nice as that was, I hope that that never, ever happens again. I'm so like, I I don't need to be doing that shit. I need to be sleeping until one a.m. or you know whatever it is. You're a growing boy. You yeah, need to get those nine hours. Yeah, pulling an all nighter is like only something that I w uh, could do like a, ten fucking years ago. It's a young girls game. It's a young girls. Game. It, it was easier for me like when I was 21 even, yeah. and now at 24 it's it's harder. <laughs> yeah, for wait till you hit 25, everything changes at 25. That's what I've heard. That's like the. It's a fact. The day you turn 25, you're like fuck. I'm washed. It's sick. Yeah, yeah, maybe if you're doing pills, I don't do pills, just vitamins and sea moss. I, uh, I, I, the first thing that made me feel a little old this year was, um, I sneezed and like felt like I threw out my back. <laughs> oh yeah, she was like, uh oh. <laughs> no, you gotta do your stretches. Yeah, no, stretching is very important. You, nah. got, you need to get a Peloton. We can do classes together. Okay, all right, I'm down. Okay, or just come over. We'll both ride mine at the same time. Okay, I would love that. Well, right. before we get back into this, I, before right before you walked in, I was saying that we were going to, I was going to make you play uh, Unreal Tournament. I heard because I was listening on the drive over. Okay, so you're gonna do that. You said you were gonna make me. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Okay, so you game. Let's bro? fill up that server. There's only ten slots, so we're gonna fill that thing up. If a lot of people play, yeah, we'll double it. Play. That sounds fun. Yeah, I mean that's what this is what we're trying. Let's build this community. Let's. I want this server to be full around the clock. Let's not even shut it down. Let's keep it going and play every night if forever. If people want to play, I, I want to keep it open because Unreal Tournament. I think it's just something that just went away. And it's got style that you don't see enough these days. You know, like the drum and bass music. It's so, it's like, it's the game of the year from 1999. So it's like, it's perfect to bring it back right now when this Y2K like aesthetic is so popping. It like, it just looks like Y2, it looks cool. And well, anyway, so why don't you tell us about your inspiration and how you guys work together to come up with this design before we go into the the new thing and maybe a little bit about you know really briefly about like your background and how this and and if you like do this professionally just lie and and tell us a story about how you're like real amateur and about how virtual utopia is so special and important and all you know try to come up with something that makes us sound really cool no it is special to me i mean i i'm not like super professional i think 
only just recently I like I I'm doing this like full time. I'm like at home, and this is like all I do. I just sit at the computer and work on artwork. Uh, you know, doing crypto art stuff. Uh, you know, selling artwork. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. So you know, to me, being here is badass. Like this was like, you know, I could put a bucket list. You know, you know, type the type of thing. Like I really wanted to do this. Yeah. yeah just experiencing the first one, like seeing y'all do it, I was just like jealous inside. I was like, man, I want to be there. I want to do that. Like how, you know, how do I do that? How do I go about it? Uh, and I initially got into 3D to do games, uh, but like this was like three years ago and I like the game aspect too, I really do, but you know, it's like it always works best when you're like in a big team or a group, you know what I mean? To put a game out, it's a lot of work. And well, I didn't have a lot of money for school, I'm self-taught, you know, I took one class that I paid for out of my own pocket and uh, you know, that's all I took. I just did a 3D modeling, so I, I wanted to be a modeler. Uh, and uh, I you know, did that, did a little bit of game stuff, and then all of a sudden I, I, well, I found out about you know, 100% electronica and all the music, vaporwave and stuff, and then I started doing design, 3D design. And uh, so yeah, I guess now I just do design stuff. Like uh, I do want to do games eventually, but this VR thing, the, that's kick ass. I want to continue to do that. As grueling as this uh, process was, uh, uh, I'm not uh, stifled, I guess. I, I, I definitely see a clearer light. Uh, you know, I guess doing VR like in a game engine thing is a little bit different. Um, I work mainly in Cinema 4D, so it's definitely a challenge trying to get that out, obviously, with all the render farms and stuff. Uh, but it just has these really powerful tools to do like really cool animations in a quick, easy way. Uh, so when uh, Matt was talking to me, uh, you know, he was like, showed me images of like a fish tank inside of a computer and stuff. And I was like, that's really cool. I like that. Of course, I love doing, you know, retro tech stuff and artwork. Uh, so I was like, well, let's make it happen. And then, you know, I was like, well, how can I bring it to life? And uh, well, I guess people will see eventually, but... Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it was really cool. I'm listening to his lyrics, so that's kind of where I drew my inspiration from. Like talking about being like in the bedroom, the dirty clothes everywhere. <laughs> so, yeah, and there's it's all these of, little Matt Watson references throughout the room. Little yeah, Easter I eggs. Know? Yes, yeah. I don't care. So I looked. Oh. You, so I was looking you up, you know, for like your YouTube channel and like uh, the past streams you've done. I know you did like Vice City and like Minecraft and stuff. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I dig it. I'm a gamer too, so that was like my right up my alley. Uh, yeah, so I just thought, you know, real bright, colorful. Uh, Thanks, man. Kind of, I don't know, simple, low poly. Uh, I'm so excited. I don't want to say like childish, but like, just, it's kind of got like a weird edge to it. It's really bright and poppy, but it's not so cool. Well, don't spoil it for everybody. Let's Sorry. let's just get, yeah, let's just get into let's, it. Let's jump in right fucking into it right now. So, Matt, you got any new, you got any new um, bangers that are premiering in this one? Uh, well, two of the songs are songs that I, I'm probably just never gonna come out because they're just little, the little bangers I no, made. They're coming my, out right now. Well, yeah, but they're never going to officially come out because they're just little, uh, little bangers I little made bangers. in my room. Yeah, just little bangers. Well, actually, we we actually are have already printed up 200 bootleg cassette tapes that we're gonna be selling. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Out on Glendale Boulevard. <laughs> that can pay for the render farm. <laughs> oh, well, uh, <laughs> we're gonna be giving them away. I uh. Yeah, but uh, I, I messed around because I got I got an SP404 recently, and I've been learning that. And uh, you know, I was making some music, slapping slapping some samples on there, and I'm excited. I'm excited to show y'all. Oh, well, let's yeah. get let's get right into it, and then and then we'll come back. All right. Hell yeah! Woo! Thank you, Tropical Virtual. You want to scream or say anything? Thank or you like want to just scream? <laughs> I'm not good at screaming. All right. Well, you know what? It, as best I can tell. Screaming and designing these three D virtual environments, it, we're we're o for three, so it just doesn't seem to it just doesn't <laughs> seem to work that way. But everybody's got their we, everybody's got their own skills. Yeah. So here you you heard it here first, folks. This is the this is the Matt Watson uh, debut live performance. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Let's go. Let's fucking go. What's up, players? I'm gonna do a little set for you guys.
did be something like something special for virtual utopia
I've never done this one live or anything. I got a lot of empty cans on my floor. I got a lot of dirty clothes in my drawer. But that's how it goes. I got a lot of problems I don't got a name for. I got a couple people kicking on my front door. But that's how it goes. My life is good. I can't complain. I love my bed. I love the rain. It doesn't rain enough. No. You come and go just like a train. I'm locked in place. You got me chained, just like a dog. You got me trained, but I can't complain. Can't complain at all. Can't complain at all. Can't complain at all. So why don't you come over? Come over. Why don't you come over? Yeah. Why don't you come over? Hey, I wish I had a couple million sitting offshore. I wish I didn't spend a billion at the liquor store. But that's how it goes. I wish I pushed myself all the way. I wish I wasn't tired every day. But that's how it goes. Yeah, that's how it goes. My life is good. I can't complain. I love my friends. I love the rain. It doesn't rain enough, no I wish it did You come and go, just like a train I'm locked in place, you got me chained Just like a dog, you got me trained But I can't complain Can't complain at all Can't complain at all Can't complain at all So why don't you come over Come over why don't you come over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can come over whenever you want to, whenever you want to, whenever you want, whenever you want. You can come over whenever you want to, whenever you want to, whenever you want, whenever you want. Thank you. Yay! Yay! And we're back. Now that we're was so back. swag. We are back. You did such a good job. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Matt said he didn't want to do a singy song. He didn't want to. Yeah, I didn't want to do the singing one, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to eventually do it, so I'm just going to do it. Come on, bro. Just don't deny so it. So I did it. it, Matt. We're glad. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. you did. I'm, um, I'm hiding our friend Ryan. I'm, um, there's, someone, there's someone who may or may not be on Skype right now. I want them to know that I'm going to bring them up as a surprise in just a minute, and we're going to pretend that nobody saw that because it's a wonky as fuck stream. Wonk. How? Wow. How did you do that? You're so talented. Thanks, George. You can tell jokes. You can dance. You can sing. You do the. You were making um, do the freaky freaky thing that you were doing all but. but that? Yeah. Oh, you're that? That's the best I've ever heard. That's the best I've ever heard. a competition for that. It's a I, well, I used, to, I used to really love beatboxing. Like, no back way. in middle school. There's a video of me in seven, in sixth grade doing it on YouTube. Some kid filmed <gasps> at my high school. And people s somehow found it. And I don't... They found it before I ever found it. And Wow. Yeah, I crazy. would like to see that. I have, like, hair like I do now, kind of. But, uh... I was about to say less styled, but this is this is nothing. So you need no, to really incorporate great. the beatboxing the way Justin Timberlake does. He Ooh, always, yeah, his I love Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Dude, I do too. Suit and tie goes so hard. Yes. I'm trying to get a mullet, though. Oh, that's funny. I, I think you should get the mullet, dude. That'd be sick. Justin Timberlake's a name I haven't heard in so long. I thought you were talking He's about the cheater. other Justin. He's a cheater now. 
<laughs> oh yeah, he got caught holding hands with someone that was not his wife. I can separate the art from the artist. Or the yeah. Yeah. I mean cheating's just the name of the game in the in the big time Hollywood. I mean it's just part of it. Sometimes you, a player's gotta play. You don't always have to cheat to win though. Right? So I think I'm on team Jessica. Oh, go on. That one. Mm. He's married to somebody? Isn't he married to J- yeah, he's married. Jessica, Jessica Simpson. Jessica I'm pretty sure it's Jessica. I'm pretty sure it's Jessica Simpson. Yeah. Who's Justin Timberlake married to? Um. So Wait. that Jessica Beale. Oh Jessica Beale. They're still together though. So the cheating didn't break oh, them up. Okay. Well, you know that's that's. You don't know, Lindsay. Lindsay you don't know his business no, because that know. might be something that she organized and she said, "Listen, you need to leave me alone. You need to get out there and hold hands with somebody else because you are bothering me. I am." Sick of you, Justin. No, I think she publicly was like, what the fuck? I mean, honestly, like, holding hands is a little more intimate than sex, I okay. think. Okay, well, hold on, well, hold on, hold on. This isn't... <laughs> like, this that's is, truly just like, I just want to hold... I don't know, whatever. That's this a isn't the big stream. This is a virtual utopia. Yeah. Now, everybody, give a warm round of applause to Matt Watson. Thank, Thank you for coming. Woo! We've got yeah! one more set. Thank you to Tropical Virtual for designing that. Thank you to Red Bull for providing... Um, uh, money to go towards the artist grants that we use to um, give a little stipend to Tropical Virtual and Data Girl and uh, R Graph. Thank you to um, Adam Kane for your oh, amazing well, performance. You. If thank you, you missed that, if you're tuning in late, you have that to go back so and good. watch that. Um, thank you to me. Thank you to Kevin for his performance. Uh, thanks to Death Dynamic Shroud. Thanks to Data Girl. Specifically to. I, Data, I, or a graph. Data, data girl. girl. I say data girl, but then I say data. So anyway, data, data, data I girl. say data girl. Data girl. Data girl. Data girl. Hey, data girl. Data girl. And our graph. Tropical virtual. Everybody. Destiny. Who else? And we've got one more performance by our favorite party pupils. Let's bring. What up? What's up? Yeah, there you What's are. Up? All it's right. Good. Thank you for rolling oh. with that because we're sitting here trying yeah. to figure out how to sync the camera and everything all at once. It's hectic around Apparently here. Apparently the sync is back. That's what people us, are saying it's sync. You nice. can move your screen around and see Ryan from you can party see my Turn those necks. Yeah, break your neck. See my big dumb face. What's up, y'all? Chill, Thanks man. for having Hi. me. So good to uh, good to be a part of this incredible uh, live stream that I've been watching since the beginning of it, uh, which has been awesome. And Adam, yo, that was insane. Still oh. my favorite. Well, thank you. My favorite part of this so far. Thank um, you. Really cool. <laughs> You know, you know. I'm um, so serious. You know that. Uh, no, I know. Well, Matt just said thanks because he's pretending to be offended, <laughs> but maybe he's being for real with me. No, I'm just pretending, bro. Adam's 100% takes the cake. Um, Adam, because I'm the fattest. Well, we liked we. We're we're a lot of people are mean to Adam, or they at least they used to be. They in our think week, they're being mean to me, but it's they're not. In our weekly streams, you know, they'll say Adam, you know, like who's that bitch over yeah, there? Yeah, who's Adam? Like, why is Adam? What does Adam do to deserve to sit on the chair? Who's that petite little pussy boy sitting next to y'all? It'd be cooler <laughs> if he wasn't there. <laughs> oh man, you know, etc. Uh, etc. It goes you're... on. I see little bits and pieces there. I don't really pay too much attention to it, but it's all good. <laughs> Cool, man. Yeah, no, this has been super fun. I love it. It feels like a big old hangout in the basement, which is like my entire growing up and also still me as a 35 year old adult. It's people a garage. think it's that this a is a basement. People think this is a basement. I, you, like I know that you know that this is a garage. A it's a garage. Yeah. yeah. This is a the basement town. is like way cozier than what this really is, which is a garage. This is two it's miles a- underground. It's yeah, got yeah. the vibey basement energy, which is what I really appreciate. But can you imagine packing records and then carrying them upstairs to get to your car? No. I think that would be so annoying. Yeah, Yuck. We want to keep this on ground level. We get pallets delivered here. We got to keep it ten toes down yeah. in the game always. So yeah. let's see. I had, uh, you know, because of the problems that or because not the problems, but what we were having with Tropical Virtual, I was having a... I was working on that. I was working on Matt Watson's set, and then I I knew that ours would be okay because yeah. I made the, for the people who don't know I made the visuals for the upcoming Party Pupils DJ set, which is amazing. I love this DJ set. It feels really good, and it looks really good, and it really is a party. It's a party. I don't want to ruin what's happening, but it's so much fun, and it really reminds me of like these. It's true to the vaporwave experience, and it's like it reminds me of, you know, like back in the days. I, 
I straight up just said, yo, I want to, <clears throat> I want to DJ on the, one of the islands of, uh, w- wave race 64. And you were like, say less, <laughs> say less King. <laughs> oh, you were telling me about that. Yeah. Well, I was like, well, I, you know, I, 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 I'm not good enough to actually, I tried to pull in wave race and I couldn't do it, but we, we do have an Island. I think it looks more like uh, the, where they live on Dragon Ball Z. Mm. Uh, okay. and how, how yeah. do they get groceries? I guess they fly that little fucking cloud around in Dragon Ball Z. How yeah. Do they get gro- yeah. That's they where get groceries by cloud where they get toilet yeah. paper. I'm also getting a little bit of MTV Spring Break vibes. MTV Spring For Break, sure. triple vibes. kiss, triple kiss, yep. full quadruple kiss type vibes. Yep. And there's an incredible amount of Easter eggs in this set. It's long and it's fun and it's vibey. It reminds me of SPF 420, the early days. Shout out uh, 2011 uh, when Future Funk was, you know, brand new and fresh. Now you've got some songs with Young Bay in here, and um, oh, I love you've got one in there with Young Bay, yep, and uh, a couple of other of other uh, little little gems. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's let's jump into it. Let's I'm just excited. let it rip. Yeah. Let's let, just let, let it rip. rip. So this is cool, the man. last that you're going to see of human faces tonight. We're going to go from the party to the end, and we're just going to like the after party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna like. We're gonna put a bunch of sushi rolls on Matt's body and eat them up. I, I. You want me to tweet out the address? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we'll do that. Don't worry. Uh, so cool. yeah. And before we go, I want to say this is the shirt that you're talking. This is the type of material that you're talking about. We need to make shirts like that. Is that your drown? Fifth grade shirt. Yeah, I love that Look shit. At the back. Oh my god. Yeah. I got this in uh, Bangkok. Fire. All right. Oh, that's the capital of Thailand. Well, thank you, Ryan. We love party pupils. Thank you, we love thank you. Pupils. Do you want us? Are you capable of screaming or getting hyped or anything? I want you to lose your voice um, at these three. Has screamed yet? No, I, I can't no yell one. too hard. I got neighbors, but. Oh, yeah. Hey. Woo-woo. Woo-woo. You know what I'm saying? Woo-woo. All the juggalos out there. Right, juggalos. Woo-woo. All the juggalos. Woo-woo. 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 Let's fucking go. See you out there. Let's go. Yeah, Let's get it. Party Thank you. The virtual utopia.
is everything she sees I guess I must have loved you Because I said you were the perfect girl for me
you to Virtual Utopia, George Clanton and Spree, 100% Electronica. Thank you so much for having me. This is Party Pupils. See you soon. We're, we're coming in. We're coming. Shh, shh. Woo! Yeah! Oh! Wow! 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 Wowie! I know that we said that we weren't going to come back, but we were just out here vibing so hard and laughing and playing I'm and telling everybody how much we love each other. So I just wanted to come back. We're for still a... here. Huh? We're still here. Oh, we're still here. Wait, are we? Can yeah. you confirm? I just yeah. wanted to tell okay, everybody, thank you so much for staying to the end. Thank you, party pupils. I think that that DJ set is absolutely effing incredible. That was great. Poggers. Flawless. We were just vibing to it. We Big were just poggers. Dancing. We were just vibing. Nothing but vibes. It's vibes out here. Everybody, oh damn, Pudina looks good on that Shout fish out Pudina. eye effect. Pudina's lit that right Pudina now. Pudina there. Wow. Ooh, oh yeah. my god, I'm in such Pudina. a great mood. Wow. V three was a fucking movie. And this was awesome. This was so much fun. Thank you so much. Thank for, you, everyone. Thank you for having me. Thank it's you our so pleasure, for, Matt. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Red Bull. Matt was so nervous to come that he couldn't do it until it was time for him to perform. And he came. Over. Remember how nervous you were? Like a true dazzler. Was, <laughs> a real like dazzler. a true dazzler. I was a little scared. Don't be. We got your back 100. Oh, 100%? Everybody 100%. poggers. 100%. Everybody poggers in the chat for Matt Watson's set. Hey, po uh, no. Pow! Poggers for everyone involved in, in VU3. That's a fact. Hey, you don't have to say that. Listen, all those annoying Matt Watson fans already left. This is a true. That's is, true. This that's is true. a true poggers. The, the, the cool ones are stuck around. Yeah, they God. They're, those God is annoying. If you're still in the chat and you stay to the end, you're a real one in my book. <laughs> no, I saw that uh, Molo says, Molo says, Lindsay's so beautiful. Or, Lin no, I'm Aww. sorry. Molo says, Lindsay's so pretty. Thank you, But Molo. Molo also said that Equip is so pretty. So who, what I want to know, Molo, is who's the prettiest, Lindsay or Kevin? I'm still trying to figure that one out myself. I'm going to have to hard confirm Kevin. Sorry. <laughs> Matt? Congratulations, Kevin. He doesn't even know who Kevin is. So we'll just go because I don't. <laughs> so we'll just go with Kevin. Kevin. Looks like we'll go with Kevin. <laughs> They're giving you they poggers look now. Amazing. Look, poggers. Thank you. Virtual Utopia three. Poggers they said we would never make down. it to three. Guess they what? We're on the we way to four. Do two. We did two. They said one would never happen. Guess which one we're on next? Five. Oh shit! I mean. Which one is it? Four. 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 Virtual Utopia 4. Adam drank poppers. Virtually I drank poppers for Matt Watson set. Thanks, man. When is it? Is it happening soon? Virtual Utopia 4 this December. We think it's going to be, well, should we say who's going to play it and when it's going to be? We have time. You got tease it. Or I don't know, George. What do you think? You're the boss. Virtual Utopia 4, just as 2 was better than 1 and 3 was better than 2. Virtue Utopia 4 is going to be the best one yet. Ooh. Stay tuned. We'll see you in December. And we hope by 2021, we're going to be doing this every month, regardless of COVID. We, you can't, it's not a coincidence that this just started in the, or it's a, it is a coincidence that this started the very first week of lockdown. We were working on this for months. We didn't know that we were going to be locked down. This is just something that we wanted to do. We're going to continue to do it forever. This isn't a lockdown party. This is a party worthy of staying home from a party to have fun with. So we want to uh, it, let me entertain you. Let me entertain you. Please. Let George service you, please. Please. All right. As Anton Newcomb once said, let me entertain you. Broke my sitar, motherfucker. Thank you, everybody. 100% Electronica.